Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. people. Hello. How are you? Good evening. How are you this Monday? I'm good. You're good, yes. Welcome, Brenda. Yeah. We have Margarita. Zulma, welcome. William, welcome. Betsaida. Hello. Hey, good evening. Good Welcome evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, David Moises. Welcome. How was the weekend, guys? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. It was a nice weekend. Yes, did you enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. That is good, right? To take some time to relax. Actually, we're going to begin with that with an exercise, but to remember about the simple past. But this one is about to remember about how were your vacations. So we're going to ask here, ask your classmates about their last vacations, ask these questions or use your own ideas. For example, the first question, where did you spend your last vacation? Let's say that I spent my last vacation at the beach for example. Then, William, tell us about yours. Where did you spend your last vacation? On my last vacation, I went to the beach Very for good. a couple of days. It was two days. Oh, okay. So it was two days. Good. Who yeah, were you with? I went with my ex-wife and my, right. my son. That's good. You had a good time there. And what did you do? Um, we played soccer Great. at the at the beach, and we saw a hammer shark. Yay! Interesting. <laughs> that that was a lot of interesting. Wow! So you can imagine, Ray. And how was the weather? Uh, the weather it was. Uh, hot, a lot of hot. All right, good one. Thank you for sharing. Very good. But Saida, what about you? How did you spend your last vacation? And I was in my. Perdón, did you? Go ahead, share it. My vacation. Mm -hmm. I went to the. Yeah, yeah. To the beach? You went to the beach? To the beach, yes. yes. Okay. Which with my family, with my Agreed. aunt and okay. my uncle. And your uncle. Very good. That's nice. And which beach did you go to? To El Bajagual, San Diego, Costa del Sol? Eh, no me recuerdo. Don't remember? Costa del Sol. <laughs> Costa del Sol, ah, yes, that's no. one of the best beaches, actually, right? Because it's always clean, very quiet place to go, right? And what did you do there? What activities did you we do? We were with a balloon. Ah, okay, with a ball? <laughs> with a ball? Ball or balloon? Mm, ball, ball, if it's a soccer ball, volleyball? Soccer. Or with a ball? A soccer ball. A soccer ball. Okay, that's nice. So you played soccer there. Nice. Yes. What about the weather? How was it? It's uh, sunny. It was sunny? Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was it good, was right? It was good to do all those activities there. Thank you so much, Vesaida. Thank you for sharing. Good one. Okay, what about you, Wilfredo? Welcome, Wilfredo. Welcome, Freddy. We have also Eric. Uh, hello. Excuse me, Hello. Sir. Yes, we are with some questions here to remember about your past vacations. Where did you spend your last vacation? Maybe at the beach or uh, at the lake or in another country. I spent uh, my last vacation on the beach. On the beach, good one, yes. Now, how long was the vacation? Was it one day, hours, days? It was, uh, no sé si te dice, for, for two days or? For two days. two days. 
For two days. For two days. All right, that's good. Now, who? Who were you with? Uh, with uh, my family. With your family, nice. And what did you do there in those two days? Did you swim? Uh, did you cook? Swimming and playing. All right. Eating. You played, you swam, <laughs> you ate. Did you cook or did you buy the food? Um, um, ¿cómo ayudante? <laughs> A helper. A helper. I was a helper. <laughs> so you were a helper. Ah, okay. That is nice. And how was the weather? Uh, so cloudy. Ah, so it was cloudy. Interesting. That's good. Thank you for sharing. That's nice. Great. What about you, Margarita? How did you spend your last vacation? Hi, teacher. Hi, girl. Well, my Hi. last vacation, my, in my last vacation, I went to the mountain. Cool. Which one? Oh, uh, to Conchagua. Mm, nice. I have heard that is beautiful. I ha I have not had the opportunity to go yet, but I would like to go there. It's, it says that is nice. Yeah, it's it's very beautiful. Really nice. And who did you go with? Oh, with my best friend. Great. Yeah. How long was it? For one day? Or you no, there? we went. We we spent. We we, we spent mm -hmm. two days over there. Hey, that's cool. So you slept there. Nice. Yes. Did you go camping there? Yes. Cool. That's very nice. Very exciting adventure. Yeah. Yes. yes sure. And what did you do? Um, we just cooked, nice. and we always go to that place because we love to see the the sunrise oh it must look really awesome yeah that's nice and the weather how was it i can imagine that it's a little bit cold the weather <laughs> was very nice but very cloudy very cloudy okay that's yeah. good great thank you for sharing very good job thank guys you. thank you so much okay Let's go ahead with our next topic. And this one is with our section three. And this one is about what's your neighborhood like? So what is the objective here? We're going to read it. Let's see, Sulma. Hello, Sulma. Hello. Hello, can you please read the objective, please? In this session. Okay. In this section, participants will, will listen to conversation between neighbor asking about place in town. In town. Pay attention to their there is. town. Pay attention to there is, there are, aren't any and One. One. some. Any and some. Great. Thank you. That's good. So here we're going to remember about some of the instructors when we talk about existency so let's listen to that we have there the video excuse me i'm your new neighbor Ooh, sorry. Let's check something here. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood? No problem with the video? No problem. No? no? Okay. All right. It's okay. But like, Thank you. as we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? 
Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? All right, so there we have the conversation. Now we're going to practice it. I'm your new neighbor. So this conversation is between a young man and then a lady, Jack and Mrs. Day. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. <laughs> Can you imagine? Why is she suggesting a barber shop? Right? Because of the hair, right? Okay, now let's practice it. Let's begin. Pablo. Hey, Pablo. Hi. Hey. Let's begin here, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm your I'm your new neighborhood, Jack. I just moved in. Thank you. That's good. Daniela, continue, please. Oh yes. Great. Thank you, Sandy. I'm I'm looking for a grocery I'm, store. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. For? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any any around here? Thank you. That's good. Fatima. Yes, there are some on, on Pine Street. Very good. Thank you. Wendy. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? Laundromat? La laundromat near here. Thank you. Daisy. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. That's great. Thank you. Estela. Estela. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. David. By the way, there's a barber. By the way. By the way. By the way. There's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. Thank you. That's good. Freddy. A barber shop? Great. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin again. Let's see Raquel. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. That's good. In Thank you. That's right. Good one. Okay. The next one is uh, Selena. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good one. Thank you. Eh, Roberto. I look, I looking for a, a gro grocery. A grocery what? store. Are there any, any around here? Around here? Around here? Around, around here. Very good. Thank you. Marvin. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. That's right. Thank you. Eved. Eved, are you present? Yes. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Let's continue here, please. Oh, good. Oh, good. And is there? Oh, good. And is there? And is there? A laundromat? Huh? A no. laundromat? No, near. Near here. Laundromat. Near, uh -huh. near here. Thank you. That's near good. Here. Great. Thanks. Germán. Germán Ulises. Problems with the audio, maybe? Diana? 
Yes. Yes. The next one, please. Well. Well, I think right. there's one across from the shopping center. Great one. Thank you. Brenda Carolina. Thank you. Great. Let's move then. Fatima. Yes. By, by the way. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Nice. Thank you. Eric. A barber shop. Uh -huh. A barber shop. Like a question, right? That's good. Thanks. Okay, guys. Do you have a new vocabulary? Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. A laundromat is a place where you can go and wash the clothing. It's like, for example, at home, we do different activities to clean the house. And one of them is like uh, you wash your clothes, right? But there is the area that is the laundry, the laundry room, but that is in your house. Now, when you go to another place and you have to pay to wash your clothing that is a laundromat lavanderia excuse me teacher and yes, what is the me. means of laundry laundry yeah laundry means lavanderia but that is in the place where you are for example in your house that you have a laundry room ah okay mm -hmm. but you said a laundromat is like the place uh, where you have to pay for it when more people do the same. They do the same, exactly. You go there, okay. they have the washing machines, and you pay for it. Normally, you put, like, coins, you have your clothing, and you wash it. And that you okay. have to wait, well, right? La laundromat. And laundromat. Laundry, laundry room is... Is the in area in your house. house. Uh -huh. Okay, Correct. thank you. So, that's a laundry room where you have your washing machine. Any other words? Teacher, what is yes. the meaning grocery store? Grocery store. Well, this one is a store where you go and buy all the necessary things it, for your house. For example, the food. If you go for food or all the things, todos los comestibles, but the ones that you need in your house. Those are okay, the grocery thank you. store. You're welcome. Any other one? Any other question? Yes, teacher, by the way. By the way, that means, por cierto. That's a, a phrase, a complete phrase. It means, por cierto. Any other question? No, it is for the sun, the red hot chili pepper. <laughs> 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 that is true. <laughs> that reminds you, right? The song reminds you. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. Okay, let's go ahead here. As we are going to be giving like some directions, let's remember about some of the places. Some of the places that are necessary for us to go or to visit. For example, a bank. We know that in some of the occasions we need to go to a bank. A restaurant a pharmacy, a bookstore, a newsstand, a school, all right? Now, tell me, please, and what things do you need to do in a bank, for example? What things do you need to do in a bank? Pay. Aha, uh -huh. pay, okay, pay some bills, very good. What about in a restaurant? Eat. 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 That's good. You can have a meeting, right? For example, it can be a business meeting or it can be a family meeting and eat something. Very good. In a pharmacy. Get dry medicine. All right. Medicine. Buy some medicine. Get some yeah. medicine. Right. What about in a bookstore? Read something. If you Bye. read it, it has to be a library. Bye. You just read Bye. it. Bye. But Bye. You, don't Bye. Buy some you buy it. Uh -huh. Bye. That's very good. That's the difference with the library, right? Because if the library is like the one they are making that they almost finish, like Biblioteca Nacional, right? 
the one that they almost finished here at Centro Historico. Sure. Yes, tell me. Uh, I have an, an adieu about mm -hmm. the words land and borrow. When when oh. we use land and when we use borrow. That's a right question. Let me here write you the difference. When you talk about land and the other one that is borrow, the easiest way to understand it is this. When you talk about land, it's because you have something, but you give to another person. You give it, but you are going to get it back because it's yours. But in the case of borrow, you don't have, but you ask for it. Ask for. So let's say that I have $20. I have $20 and there is a friend. My friend needs the $20. So I lend the money to my friend. My friend is going to give me back the $20 later. But borrow is because I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I don't have a book. I don't have a pencil. Whatever that you don't have, you need it. But you ask an other person to give it to you. But you are going to give it back. You get the difference? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The translation is the same. Because remember, in Spanish, we say prestar. But we don't specify if you give. Who are you asked for? But it's something English, like uh -huh. it's something like why and because. Yeah, it's like something like that, right? Exactly, because it has the same translation. But just that lend that means dar prestado. For that reason, is that you make a relation with give. But with borrow, it means pedir prestado. I don't have, so another person give it to me. Thank you. You're very welcome, my pleasure. Any other question? All right, so tell me, what things do we do in a school? Study, we study right? Yes, we study. Learn. I'm sorry? Learn, correct, yes. We study, we learn. You can work also, right? As there are different areas there of position, you can work also at school. What about in a newsstand? What things can you buy do in the newsstand? newspaper? You can buy newspaper. Uh, what else? Sorry. Or I'm sorry. Information. Or, uh, read a notice. Ah, okay. You can read a notice. You can read the news. A magazine, right? You can also buy the magazine. That's great. Nice one. Okay. Now let's go ahead after we have this reference. Let's go ahead on the next part. Now here with this exercise, we are going to connect here. It says match the places and the definitions. Then as an answer, the questions with a partner. It says what's a and then it's a place where you, we're going to connect with the concept that we have. For example, in number one, clothing store. What's a clothing store? It's a place where you, what letter can you connect it here? Nice. Wash and dry your clothes. Clothing store? F. F? Yeah, because in a clothing yeah. store, right? You find uh, new fashions. New fashions. That's great. Good one. So that will be letter F. What about the next one? Number two. You're going to read it complete. Uh, Eric. Uh, a. What's a grocery store? It's a, a place where you? A. Get food. Get food, food and small items for the home. That's all right. Home. So that's letter A. Correct. Okay, what about number three, Sandy? What's a hair salon? It's a place where you get a haircut. Get a haircut, right? So that's letter 
C. Letter C. Very good. That's nice. Great. Okay. Let's see. David. David Moises. What about four? What's a laundromat? It's a uh, F. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a place where you? It's G. Look. It's G. G. Laundromat. Remember laundromat? You can wash your clothes. And also you can dry it too at the same time. So it's letter G. G. Thank you. Thank you. What about number five? Selena, what will be number five? D. What's a new stand? It's a place where you... D. D, excellent. You buy newspapers and magazines. Great job. Nice, Raquel. Number six, what's a stadium? Raquel, are you there? Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. I want it. I want it. See a game or a concert. That's right. Good. So that's a letter E. Nice. And the last one, which is missing. Marvin, can you please? What's a Wi-Fi hotspot? It's a place where you uh, can connect to the internet. Letter B. Letter B. Excellent. That's all right. So that the Wi-Fi hotspot, we know that is the principal point or area, right? It's like the Chivo spot. We know that you go to Chivo spot, then you can find right there to change your money there. Very good. Okay. Now we are going to read this one. Roberto, help us, please. You're going to read the first one. Number one. Roberto Carlos? No. Wendy? Wendy no. Adamaris? Okay. Uh, clothing, clothing store? Aha. Uh -huh. Buy a new fashion. Aha, uh -huh, okay. It's a place where you... We're going to read it complete. Like, what's a clothing store? It's a place where you... Okay. What's a clothing store? What's a clothing... What's a clothing store? It's a it's place. A pe place? Uh, okay. It's a place where you uh -huh. find new fashion. Fashions. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Jennifer? Yes. What's a grocery store? What's a grocery store? Mm -hmm. It's a place. It's a place where you uh -huh. get food. Uh, get food and a small a small items items for the for the home. Items for the home. Items from, for the home. Very good. Thank you. Andrea de Los Angeles. Number three. Uh, what's hair salon? Mm -hmm. What's a hair salon? What's a hair salon? It's a place where you get a haircut. Really good. Thank you. That's nice. Herban, continue, please. Number four. Herban? Can you listen to us? Estela? Yes. Yes. Number four, please. What's up? What's a laundromat? Mm -hmm. It's a place where you wash and dry your clothes. Your clothes. Very good. Thank you. Continue then. Um, Eric. Number five. Mm. What's a newsstand? Right. It's a place. It's a place where you buy new papers and magazines. A magazine is very good. Thank you, Margarita. Number six. Number six. Oh, what's a stadium? Right. It's a place to see a game where or a you concert. see where you it's see a place a where you see a game or a concert. That's great. Thank you, Daisy. Number seven. 
What's a Wi-Fi hotspot? It's a place where you can connect to the internet. To the internet. Very good job, guys. Great. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead on the next part. We have a video, another video to watch. And let's see about there are other objectives. Fatima, can you please read the objective? Yes, in this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer question. Answer? Answer, answer question. Which there is, there are one, any song. Thank you. Great. So let's remind these ones. Let's watch the other video. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another session. This time, we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between on the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right, if you observe there, they were talking about prepositions and the different areas. So let's first remember about some of the prepositions of place, which are very important when you give certain directions. For example, you have the first one, across the street. We're going to locate here the store. The store is across from the street. That means that you go to the other side of that area to the other parts of position from the street. Another one, it could be down the street. That it means it goes on the same area of the street. Number three will be around the corner. So you have to go not straight, but you have to around the corner, right? Now, on the right, we know that you turn on the right, on your right hand or on the left, right, left. Next to the bank, that's very common, next to 
between this, uh, the bookstore and the bank. We know that between is here, right? Like in the middle. And you're using this location. Here we have the bookstore and then we have the bank. For example, if we ask here, is there a store near here? Suppose that you investigate about the store. Is there a store near here? If it's affirmative, then you say, yes, there is. Or negative, no, there isn't. That will be a simple answer in a short manner. But what about if you want to give more specific information where the area is? Yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. So you got it here, one example. Now, let's remember here the use of there is and there are. When do we use it? When we want to express existency. Existency of any noun. This one can be thing, it can be a person, can be a place, can be whatever you want to express is existency. So let's verify it here. This one is referring if there is something or there isn't. This one can be singular, you can use there is, but also you can use the plural of this. Let's see some examples with there is, and we are going to use this reference to observe what are the things that are in a place. There is plus a singular noun. There is a sofa in the living room. Our area is the living room. So is the existence of one sofa. There is an armchair. An armchair will be this one, right? Remember, it's like a, it's similar than the sofa, just that the sofa, you can lay down, you can sleep and stretch, right? It's longer, it's bigger. But the armchair, normally we are sitting. You just sit there. There is no TV. You cannot see TV, no existence of TV in this living room. Or you can also say there isn't a TV in the living room. There are two options here. Now, in more examples here could be there is a hamster in the living room. Now, let's check other examples that are possible. Tell me other things that you can have. There is, give me more, affirmative. There is a lamp. Uh huh. Okay. There is. And there is a lamp, right? You say a lamp. Uh -huh. There is a turtle in the living room. Uh, that's right. There is a turtle there is a in the living room. In the living room. That's great. Nice one. What else? There is a cat in the living room. There is a cat in the living room. Remember, you can also make a contraction. So you can say, there's, there's a cat. Now, what is the exact position of the cat? Is it in front, next to the yeah, sofa, or the behind the sofa? Behind the sofa. Behind, exactly. the, sofa. behind the sofa. Very good. A cat behind the sofa. The sofa. That's there is great. a book on the table. Excellent. There's a book on the table. That will be more a specific location, the one you're there giving there. Uh-huh. What else? There is a I'm sorry? There is a picture in there the living room. There's a picture. A uh, plan? Mm -hmm. yeah, picture. A picture? See? It will be this one, right? Yes. Yeah. A picture on the wall. On the wall. Yes, cannot be in the wall, right? Because there is not a hole. It's on the wall. On the wall. That's great. Good one. What about if you want to describe the specific one, um, the specific position of this plant? Is it in front of the in armchair? Front. In front of the table? Where? Actually, you can give different positions. In front of the armchair. The armchair. All right. That's good. Uh, next to the table. Or next to the table. It can be. Yeah, that's right. There's a plant.
in front of the armchair. There are four pillows in the sofa. Excellent. The sofa. There are four pillows on the sofa. On. On the sofa. That's right. Good one. So we got these references here. Now, let's verify. We're going to read them. Fatima, begin with this one, please. There is a sofa. There is a sofa in the living room. Very good. Thank you. Continue, Eric. There is a anchor. An armchair. An, an armchair. There is an anchor. Very good. Thank you. Wilfredo, continue. There is? There is no TV. Mm -hmm. There is a, a TV in the living room. That's correct. Great one. William. Are you there, William? Daisy? There is? Daisy? The audio, please. The microphone. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There is a hamster in the living room. That's great. Thank you. Daniela, continue, please. There is a lab. There is a lab. That's good. Continue. Then, Betsaida. There is a turtle in the living room. Excellent. Great. Pablo. There is a cat behind the sofa. Very good job. Nice. Wendy. There's there a book on the table. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> There's two Wendy. There's a... Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Wendy Beatrice, thank you. Uh, okay. There's a book. <laughs> okay, teacher. There is a book on the table. Very good job. Thank you, Margarita. There is a picture on the wall. That's all right. Thank you, Freddy. There's a plant in front of the chair. Of the chair. Great one. Brenda, now you're going to continue here. There are some. There are some plants in my living room. Excellent. That's right. Good. So in this case, look at here that now we have plural existency, but plural nouns. We have there are some plants in my living room. In the case of some, remember, it's a a general quantifier. We don't have a specific quantity. We're just saying that is certain quantity of plants. There are no drawers in the living room. Drawers is this one, right? Now they have different boxes. You open them and you can put different things there. So we got negative. There are no drawers here. There aren't any drawers in the living room. This is another possibility for the negative form. More examples we can have. There are no pens on the table. You see, there is a book, but no pens. There are no pens on the table of the living room. There aren't any pens on the table. Here is a negative form. So now in this one with any, it's not very necessary, but you put more emphasis on that because you can also say there aren't pen on the table. But any put emphasis is that zero pens there. There are two plants in the living room. There are animals in the living room. Yes, we have. There are animals. Actually, there are three animals. There aren't any people in the living room. You see, zero persons here. Only animals and other stuff, but no people there. Now, let's check here. Let's read them. Remember, these ones are the plural. If it's plural, then the verb to be changes. It's not there is, but it's there are. Daniela, can you please read the first one? There are some. There are some plants in my living room. Excellent. Great. Sulma. There are no. Uh, there are some. There are no. There are no groups. Drawers? Drawers in their living room. Living room. Thank you, Raquel. Raquel, Esther. 
Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, there, there, aren't any... there aren't any drawers in the living room. Thank you. That's good. Claudia, Claudia Carolina. Claudia, are you there? Yes. There, there are, are no. There are no things on the table of the living room. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Of the living room. That's great. Sandy. There aren't any things on the table. That's great. Thank you. Let's continue, Roberto. There aren't. There are two plants. Two plants in there the two living room. In the living room. Very good, Marvin. There are there are animals in the living room. Great. Thank you. David. There are only people in the living room. In the living room. So we have them in this place, right? In this area. Thanks. Okay. This one is to remember about the use of there is of there are. That you show in existence with this just particular things. But now let's see about the structure that we have with there is, there are, when we use one, any, or some. We have this, if you are formulating a question, because the ones we saw here, it was affirmative and also negatives. In a question, it's necessary to change the position of the verb to be in there. For example, is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Negative, no, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. So that means there is no one in a short distance here, <clears throat> sorry, but there is one in another area, right? No, very close to here. In the form of the question, but for plural, it will be like this. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. So we're given a specific location, a specific area. Or no, there aren't. But there are some on 3rd Avenue. Some, remember, is not a specific quantity. Some, it could be maybe three, maybe four, but a certain quantity, not many. Or another case, no, there aren't any around here. As we mentioned before, any is not very necessary. It's just to put emphasis in that zero, zero. In this case, that will be any quantity of grocery store or zero grocery stores here. So let's check here the prepositions, others that we can include. We use on in the cases of streets, avenue, next to, near, that is the same as close to, so in a short distance. Across from, opposite, well, they are the same case, right? They are synonyms you can use. Across from the street, across from the hospital, or opposite the store, opposite the mall, in front of, in back of, that they are synonyms with behind, between, on the corner of. Do you have a new preposition of place? Any question here? Around? Question? Around. Around, that means like, por aquí. So, not in a long distance. It's like near. Any other one? All right. Guys, we're going to pass the list. Let me know that you are present, please. Let's begin with Claudia. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Present, teacher. present right? Yes. Thank you, Claudia. Raquel Esther. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Raquel. Marvin Vitalicio. Present, miss. Thank you, Marvin. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Brenda Carolina. 
Present, teacher. Thank you. Daisy Estefania. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Diana Janmilet. Present, teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fatima Larisa. I'm here, miss. Thank you. Julia Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. William Alexander. William. Present, teacher. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Maria Mercedes. Wilfredo Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Zulma Natividad. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you, Sandy. Wendy Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Pablo Alejandro. Here, miss. Thank you. Jennifer Saraí. Present. Thank you so much. Freddy Ernesto. Freddy Ernesto. I saw Freddy, I remember, connected. Betsaida. Present teacher. Thank you, Betsaida. <inaudible> Estela Guadalupe. <clears throat> Help me with the audio, please. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Estela. David Moises. Present. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Ever Yaciel. Ever. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Germán escribió al chat, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Eric Ronaldo. Eric. I saw Eric too. Maybe there are problems with the audio, right? Roberto, Roberto Carlos. Present. Thank you, Roberto. Selena Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Selena. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Let's continue then. Yes, Germán is here. Yes. All right, so we are with the prepositions of places and with the use of there is and there are to show existence of different areas, different directions here. Now, let's go ahead here. We have the map. And we're going to write some questions about these places. So let's ask the questions. We have an ATM. What's an ATM? It's the machine that you can get money. Very good, thank you, that's nice. Okay, we have an ATM, we have gas stations, coffee shops, grocery stores, a department store, a gym, an electronic store, hotels, Wi-Fi hotspots, and a post office. For example, if you have this the question, is there a gym around here? Yes, there is one between the post office and Hardy's department store. Look at that here we have the gym, which name is Jim's, right? Jim's gym. So this one is between the post office and Hardy's department store. So you can answer like this. Yes, there is one because it's only one that the one is here, right? Possibly there are more, but you are specifying that specific gym. Another case will be, are there any restaurants on Main Street? Here, right? We locate here on Main Street. Are there any restaurants? Let's no, see. No, the library. No, right? No, there aren't. No, there aren't, right? Excellent. That's good. So we could respond like that. No, there aren't. Or also, if you want to specify that there's zero, it will be no, there aren't any. That could be another possibility that you can specify with this. Now tell me, another case, it will be like this. Is there any library on Main Street? Yes. 
Yes, there are. The public library. Is there any? Uh huh. Or is there a uh -huh, uh, public? Yeah, that's correct. So, yes, sí. there is one. Uh huh. So, where is it? Give me a specific location. There is, there is next, next to the gas station. station. Uh -huh. Okay. There is one next to the gas station. All right. That's good. Okay. Wilfredo, tell me, is there. Is there a drugstore on Second Avenue? Uh, yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Between. It's between. It's between. I can't say it, la verdad. <laughs> let me see. Let me try to make it bigger. Like this. Uh, between the steps shoes. Ah, okay. Between step and... shoes and mom and pops. Mm -hmm. Mom and pops. Pop. Grocery. Grocery. That's right. Good. There you're given a specific location. That's right. Good one. Okay, let's see. Marvin. Marvin, are there any hotels around here? Uh, around uh, around um, here? Yes, yes, it uh -huh. is. Um it's Elm plural, Street. right? Plural. Look, we have the Plaza Hotel and the Clifford Hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. There are there are there are on the Elm Street. Mm, very good. So you can say yes, they are on Elm Street. Or yes, there are two. Yes, because there is the existence of two. Yes, there are okay. two on okay. Elm Street. Okay. And Maple Avenue, right? That would be another case that you can ask. All right, let's see. William, William, eh, is there any bank around here? Uh, I've seen the, yeah. Yes. The, there right. is uh, on First mm -hmm. Avenue. Aha, uh -huh, okay. It is. It is, uh, yeah, on the First Avenue, uh, next to the Mars. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Let me make it bigger. I it's another see. grocery store. Mars grocery store too, yeah. Mm -hmm. On Mars grocery stores. Yeah, that's true. So you can say, yes, there is one on First Avenue next to the first, or next to Mars grocery store. Yep. Or simply like a normal, yes, it's next to Mars grocery store. Actually, we have different manners, right, to answer here. Different, different ways to give a location. But side that, tell me, um, are there any restaurants around here? No. Restaurants. Nancy's. Ah, yes. Yeah, Nancy's. <laughs> yeah. There is one. <laughs> ah, very good. Yes, there is one. In front, next to, behind, where? To Bean's Coffee, in front of Star Plaza Hotel. Ah, very good. That's nice. Even though you can use like a across from, right? In front of, across from, Star Plaza Hotel. Opposite. That's all right. Or opposite, exactly. That's another way, correct? Across from, eh, it could be opposite then. Excellent. On Maple Avenue, different references, right? So we can like uh, take advantage of different manners to describe the location and how to give yeah. that to a specific place. Now yes, let's... We can use to uh -huh. street. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, for example... If there is one on Maple mm -hmm. Avenue in Elm oh, Street. Um, it's correct. Yes, correct. You can give different directions here. That's all right. Okay, now let's hear some other questions here. We're going to read them here. Let's see. Let's read them. Daisy, can you read the first one? Is there? Is there a library on Main Street? Great, thank you. Answer, Sulma, can you answer it, please? Yes. 
Yes, there is one next to the gas station. That's right. Let's see if it's true. The library. Yes, it's next to the gas station. That's correct. Now, what is another reference that you can give me? Fatima, give us another reference. This one is the first reference you can give. Oh, but you can give other cases. The first one is there is one next to the gas station. Repeat, please. Can you give me like another way to say that is next to the gas station or across from or maybe on on a street on an avenue? Okay. A gas station across from main street. Um across from across from and the main street. May oh so you can say like it's on Main Street. There is one on Main Street. That could be like another reference, right? Because the first one we gave is that is next to the gas station about the public library. Great. Okay. Wendy, read the next one, please. Is there a cafe? To Wendy's teacher. Wendy. Yes, sorry, one. sorry. <laughs> Wendy Rodriguez. Can you repeat, please? Sure. Can you repeat the question? Is there a cafe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a cafe near here? Very good. Wendy. The other yes, Wendy. It's on, <laughs> okay. Yes, it's on Maple Avenue. Maple Avenue. Great. Yes. Let's see if it's true. So we have a cafe, right? What is the name of the cafe that we are located? On Maple Avenue, what's the name? Uh, Bing's Cafe. Bing's Cafe, on right? The corner. Ah, okay. Okay, it's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. In Maple Avenue, yeah, that's all right. Excellent, that's good. Thank you. Let's see, Andrea, Andrea de Los Angeles. Yes. Yes. Let's see the next one. Read the question, okay. please. Are there? Are there are there any hotels around here? Around, around here? Around here. That's all right. Thank you. Let's see. Jennifer. Jennifer, can you listen? Roberto Carlos? Selena? Yes. Yes. Can you please say sure. the answer? Sure. There are two on Elm Street. On Elm Street. That's Elm. all right. So it's investigating about the hotels. What are the names of the hotels that are on Elm Street? Star Plaza and Clifford. Uh -huh. And the Clifford Hotels. That's good. Nice. Okay. Now, can you give me another reference where the Clifford Hotel is? Is next to Bing's uh -huh. Cafe. Excellent. That's all right. Great. Okay. So here we the saw. Corners. I'm sorry. In the corner. In the corner. Yeah, that's another case. You can also use that one. Great one. That's nice. Great. Okay. So we have the use of the wrist and the wrist with some of the directions. Tomorrow we continue practicing with this more exercises. And I'm going to send you a video also about this ones. Questions? Any question about the reason there are? No question. No? All right. Then have a beautiful night. Drink with the angels, guys. We'll continue tomorrow, right? Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. You, Have a beautiful you. night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.